Hi all, wonderful to be back again. Thank you for everyone that has sent me messages, WhatsApp and comments. I am deeply grateful for all of you. It is inspiring and encouraging to see how these videos are helping you. I don't believe in temporary quick fixes. Our way of life and teaching is transformation through lifestyle changes. Today I'm going to be address, addressing a kyphotic posture. That just means that you have a neck that is slightly tilted forward and rounded shoulders. And the exercises I'm going to be doing is going to help release and ease the pain that you're feeling. And it's going to help to even correct this posture. We're going to go down on our belly and we're going to lay arms to the side of us, looking straight down. You're going to lift the head and then lift the arms and lower. Lift the head and lift the arms. You can hold it for about two seconds and you can do five to ten of those. And lift and next we're going to extend the arms forward and we're going to raise the chest off the ground. Looking forward and raise the chest. You can hold for two seconds as well and lower. These are exercises that can help ease and correct the incorrect posture. And raise and you can move into child's pose just to relax that back a bit. And then we're going to stand up. We're going to stand with our feet about a foot away from the wall, hip width apart, butt against the wall, your back flat against the wall, flush, nothing must go through, shoulders against the wall, lower arm, upper arm, and wrist against the wall. This is called the wall angel. If you have a kyphotic posture, your tendency will be to look up, but look straight ahead so that you can maintain a good posture. And we're just going to raise the arms and lower. Raise. If you feel this is too strenuous, you can widen the arms and continue with the same movement. Looking straight ahead. Standing forward, hip width apart. Elevate the arms above the head and lower the arms behind you as far as you are comfortable please consult with your doctor before beginning any form of exercise and if you have a severe case of kyphosis please you can get hold of a chiropractor who can help you even further we're going to get hold of our towel we're going to put it behind you and hold it elbows stretched out nice and stiff Put the towel just below the butt and raise the arms as far as is comfortable to you. Don't overstretch or if you feel pain, then lower the stretch and raise and lower and raise and lower. Raising the hands line with the shoulder, elbows bent, we're going to put the hands behind the ear with no pressure or strain on the head and we're going to bring the elbows together as far as you can, moving the scapula away from each other and back and moving it and now move it back towards your back, pinching the scapula together and We're going to go on to all fours, it's called the cat cow pose, but we're going to do a modified version because we're focusing on the thoracic spine. So you're going to lean back, you can either have your feet flat, I prefer having them tucked in so that there's a bit of pressure on and resistance on my legs. And you're just going to look up, you're going to bring the chest up and lower the chest. As if your head is being pulled up by a string, 
and you're howling like a wolf. And lower. And stretch. And lower. The next exercise is bird dog. Please ensure that your arms are in line with your shoulder. Legs in line with the hip. We're going to look down to maintain this will help you to maintain a straight posture and you shouldn't have an arch pull the belly button into the spine and then we're going to raise opposite leg and opposite hand and the hand is in line with the ear and the leg is in line with the hip and lower and do the same with the other arm and leg Looking down helps you to maintain a straight posture. If you feel that you can move further into this exercise, you can touch knee to elbow and stretch and lower. Knee to elbow and lower. We're going to move into forearm plank. Move onto the elbows and don't arch the back. Maintain a nice straight spine and posture, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. And we're gonna hold that for as long as you can 10, 20 to 60 seconds. And you can walk it out. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I have some exciting videos coming up. It's going to be very creative and fun. I mean, how about that? You get to exercise, maintain fitness and have fun. And Aliyah, I didn't forget about you. Your video is coming up next. Always remember, you can achieve your goals through commitment, discipline and perseverance. See you next time.